6.42, I have seven minutes until I hit the hour mark since I drank it. So I'm gonna run in, hopefully they're not too mad that I drank it late. And get my blood drawn. Okay. Your hair is getting so crazy. Romy is dropped off and I had like the quickest salon centric haul ever today. I literally just needed a few reds and also black for one of my clients, but it's 8.17. My first client isn't coming until 9.30. I was gonna get coffee, but I'm so tired. I just got hit with like this wave of exhaustion. So I'm kind of contemplating just going home and trying to take like a 20 minute nap. I came home, I passed out. I set an alarm for 9.30, which is when my client was appointment was for and I literally woke up from the alarm I did not think I was gonna pass out that hard but I was just so tired woke up and did her really fast came out so good and then I did my friend D's extensions those came out amazing and I booked a really long time for her just I'm still pretty slow with extensions but I actually finished in like a reasonable time so I was able to go get chick-fil-a and it's gorgeous out and I'm driving and I'm like oh my god I feel so good after that nap I am halfway through the work day and I don't even feel like I need coffee. I feel so good. And then I just ate and now I'm so tired again. And I don't want coffee because I'm so full that I just feel like, but my next client's gonna be here in 15 minutes. I don't wanna not be tired. I just want to sleep. It's 9.30 on Wednesday. Thank God that it's my Friday because it has been chaos. I dropped Romy off like 10 minutes late. And then I had to get my bridesmaid's dress altered because again, I try and squeeze any errands that I can't do with him easily while he's with Barbara, but I'm usually working the whole time he's with Barbara. So I sped to get my bridesmaid's dress altered. That's all set. And then I got, went to 7-Eleven to get me and Vinny lattes. I went to Trap Little Smoothie to get us breakfast because I never ended up going grocery shopping Monday. And then I'm getting gas because there's literally no gas. And he's like, your registration needs to be renewed. And I'm like, okay. So I just got in. My client's here, her appointment's in one minute, so I'm gonna tell her to head on back and I'm just gonna change. But yesterday I actually got a call from my gyno and I was freaking out because when I did my blood work, he was like, if you don't hear from me, you pass. And if you hear from us, like pick up. So I have a voicemail from them saying they wanna go over test results. I'm like, great. So I call and she was like, nope, you passed gestational diabetes test, thank God, but your iron is just severely low, which I should have figured because I've been very lazy with my prenatal and I needed an iron transfusion when I gave birth to Roman, so I should have figured that. Maybe that's why I'm so tired. I just chalked it up to being pregnant and having a 11 month old, but I need to pick up iron pills, but thank God I don't have gestational diabetes because that just would be one more thing that I could not do right now. Yeah. Really good union pharmacy job there. It took It is 9 o'clock on Thursday night and I think I want to dye my hair. I have to do it tonight if I want to wash and blow out my hair for the weekend and I want to do it before my best friend's wedding which is next weekend so I can't wait till then. And I could not do it at all but I feel like my roots look funky so. It was really really blonde and then I dyed it dark end of July so like two and a half three months ago and I have not touched it since. I haven't done a toner. I haven't done anything. So again, very hard to tell. It's lighting, but my roots kind of come in lighter and ashier. And then it's obviously oxidizing very warm, which is to be expected. I'll put some of my inspo pics here. I don't think I'm gonna be as blonde as a lot of them just because I don't feel like doing too many foils in my hair. I don't hate the warmth because I also feel like I might wanna go copper. So the reason I'm doing this is if I love it, great, I'll stick with it. And if I decided I wanna go copper, I would have had to lighten it anyway. So if you see me dying at copper in a few months, mind your business. I don't really feel like dyeing my roots dark to get rid of them and make them blend. And I also don't feel like toning it to get rid of any warmth. So what I'm thinking is if I just maybe do a few foils of like, balayage and kind of like adding some lighter pieces it'll kind of blend everything out so it won't look like 
It'll look like a million different colors, but like in an intentional way. I have Chick-fil-A lemonade because I've had Chick-fil-A the third day in a row. I've been obsessed with the chicken strips and fries. It's nine o'clock right now, 9.12. I'm kind of hoping that I could be like done by 10.30. We were watching the new season of Love is Lines and I just feel like I didn't think it was boring at first and now I just feel like it is so boring, especially because they're not showing Leo and that girl. So I think we're kind of giving up on that and Vindy doesn't want to watch Superstore, which is so rude of him. So I was like, well, I'm going to go down my hair then because none of the shows that we are watching together were like landing and there is a possibility I might have to go run get cheapy clip and extensions on Monday for the wedding next weekend because I think I want to do like a party pony. Just thinking because they already sectioned it that I should have taken like a before clip of the back. Probably in like natural lighting, but I'm not unclipping all of this and it's a little too late for that. So here's the back of the very underneath section. And I'm really gonna wing it. I'm honestly not too good at foiling my own hair. When I was platinum, I was so good at just like doing an entire like platinum card on myself completely fine. I did my pink myself. I do every other thing myself, but for some reason, oils on myself in the mirror, I just get so flustered. I'm just not gonna overthink it. If it's wonky, for the wedding it'll be in a ponytail and I could always fix it. I could always just go copper. Probably should blow it out tonight just to make sure I don't have to fix it. I really shouldn't have done this. It's fine. I'm going out to dinner tomorrow night with Ramisha's birthday because I missed it when I was in Scottsdale. Got her really cute gifts. So I have to wrap those tomorrow and then we're gonna get some pho. After Romy goes to bed, I'm gonna head out. And Saturday, I think we're going like pumpkin picking and stuff, which I'm so excited about. I feel like it's early, but I guess it's not. It's the second weekend of October, like, and it's kind of one of our only free ones. We have October 26th free too, but like, I just like it was cutting it close. Like, God forbid it rains or something. I'd be so devastated if like, then we couldn't go at all. And it's Roman's last first holiday is Halloween. So we didn't get to do the pumpkin picking or anything like that. Even though it still feels like his first Christmas just because he was like a month old. Mm, yeah, I'm not really expecting too much on this on this blend. Maybe we'll do a little root milk. I think I was saying how I was like, oh, I wish that Roman's like only nap was a little bit like more in the middle of the day. But honestly, I kind of like that it's on the earlier side. Even though his first wake window is like only three hours and his second wake window is literally five or six hours. It's still kind of nice because I just feel like I don't know, it's kind of like days like today when I was so tired, I was like, well, I'm gonna take a nap during his nap. Like, I only have three hours to get through. I didn't have any caffeine during his first wake window and then I napped hard the entire time he napped from like 11 to 120 or so. Like the entire time, which is so rare for me. And then I didn't have my coffee until he woke up and I still just don't feel like that energy really hit me, which is so sad. I think this isn't gonna take me that much time since I'm not doing that many foils. So I should have used 20 volume, I used 10. So I'm gonna be sitting here forever. Sometimes I just get the urge to just like shop my hair again. Like I haven't done since I was like early 20s, but definitely have to be not pregnant for that. I don't know, I never really had the issues that like a lot of people are like, oh, you have to do the mom shop because whatever. I think I did my hair more after having him surprisingly and he wasn't too bad with like pulling it. But also like if I'm home, it's in a claw clip. Like I will throw it up, but then I could just easily take it back down it's not gonna be creased or anything. I wish I could take off everybody's head to do their hair. Cause I love talking to my clients, but I would work like double the amount of hours if I could like take someone's head with me and like do a balayage while watching TV. It's the standing and having to be like constantly like on. That's so tiring. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, I'm going to try and get up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym every day, which I have never tried to go to the gym like before Roman wakes up. I'm more of a night girl, but that's not possible next week. And I have Orange Theory classes to use up before my month restarts. That's kind of why I like 
doing the eight a month like i used to do unlimited but i actually feel like it motivates me more because like if it's unlimited you don't have to go a certain amount of times a month versus if i don't go they expire and let's be real i don't have time to go any more than eight a month right now and probably will not for a very long time until like both kids are in the preschool every day or something so there's a lot of glow up things to be done i want to get a massage my back's been killing me doing my hair i gotta get my nails done i have to self tan next week gotta pick up my bridesmaids dress i'm so excited to like see it altered i just hope it like fits perfect It's funny because when I posted TikTok of me doing a partial on my hair when I first found out I was pregnant, someone's like, maybe they don't follow me, so maybe they don't know I do hair. But it was so funny to me how they were like, wait, you can't dye your hair pregnant. And like, I know that was like an older thing. Now we know, like, about my doctor is super conservative. Like, he doesn't even know I go to Orange Theory still. The new doctors are very sushi in moderation, cold cuts in moderation. And like, again, I don't follow exactly everything what he says. Oh my God, my nose is so itchy. But if you ask him, he's like no to everything and he had no concerns with me still doing hair. But when people say like, oh, like you didn't dye your hair. I'm like, but I do hair. Like I'm around it all day, every day. And most things that you're doing, oh my God, so itchy. Do not touch your scalp except for toner. And toner is safe to do on like little kids. Like toner is literally like nothing. So like maybe I could see if I was doing like a platinum card, like bleach to the scalp, but most people don't get that and I'm not doing that right now. And I'm not teasing this section because it's more important for me to get a clean lift here and I can always do a root smudge very easily.
are lifting good. Okay, I have eight minutes left. It sat for like 17 minutes so far, but I actually just peeked at the top of the foil and it's looking pretty good. So I think I'm gonna take down from the foils just to kind of resaturate with my hands a little bit. See like that little tiny spot? Like, that's why I like doing this a good five, 10 minutes before because any little spots that I miss because I'm literally doing it myself. It's nice having the one, two, two and a half hour nap, but one, I'm not like at the point yet where I like know that's gonna be the length it is. And even if it's shorter, it's still only gonna be one nap, so it's like scary. And even though, again, it's nicer because it's a longer slot of time, it is a little like, I don't know, I feel like this pressure to get everything I want to done during his first nap, even if that's just taking that myself. I feel like when there was two naps, it's like, okay, first nap could be really easy, second nap could be for productive. I did not even check what toners I have here. I think I'm just gonna wanna do 6N at the top. But I would love to do like an NW on my mids and ends, but I don't know if I have. It's really hard to tell on the camera. I don't know why the lighting is being so weird, but the ends actually lifted really good, which makes sense. They were blonde underneath it. Up top's a little warm, but the money pieces, it's taking everything in me to not just leave them and deal with them another day, but I need to relighten them. So I'm just gonna do that super fast. Ugh. It's like very happy that we did that obviously desperate needs to be toned but it's even now no random dark spots toner time wow i'm so unprepared i don't even have gel developer so i'm gonna do mainly tenval with a splash of water that's part about doing hair is when you've been doing it long enough you could really break the rules but oh great my battery's dying awesome um so i'm going to do mainly 6n i have like a bunch of almost empty tubes i'm just getting rid of and then i'm going to do a dot like literally a dot of 5NA and 6T. Oh, it's 8T, I'm not even gonna use that. Okay, just kidding. So just that dot of 5NA and then a dot of 7NW, just to kind of like make sure it's not too ashy, not too warm. Okay, I really hate doing the toner anywhere but the sink because it's so messy. So I might just do this in the sink like blind. exactly what I was hoping to accomplish. For doing it blind, it's pretty good. So now there's still a little left in the bottle. I want that because I just feel like it ties it in with the rest of the colors I pick. Doing more Tenval, splash of water to dilute it to like a five-ish, which is similar to the gel developer from Redcan. And we are gonna do some 9P, 8V. Maybe a little of 9V just because I thought I had more of the eight. Even though my hair's not lifted to a nine, a dash of seven and W. I think I'm gonna toss this everywhere except for my money piece first, and then I'll just throw it over the money piece at the very end.
my shirt was soaked, so I took it off. The color is looking really pretty. I think I'm just gonna blow it out so I can see it, but I wanna do a quick trim. I'm in desperate need for like a real haircut, but me and Sam have been so busy. I haven't even asked, cause I just feel like we got no time. I feel like this whole video should just have a warning, do as I say, not as I do. Or actually don't even do as I say. Cause there are actual videos that will like tell you what to do. And this is not one of them. Harlow, please leave him alone. <sighs> she's like obsessed with him and I just get worried she's gonna knock him over. <laughs> I'll show pictures of my hair not in direct sunlight, but it actually came out really good, like for how much I winged it. It's a little like, I don't know, I'm so picky. So like, I feel like I love this side, but again, I'll show you when it's not so bright out, but it is literally gorgeous out. I feel like I've gotten into a routine because I like need to nap during his naps. It's so frustrating because I don't like doing that, but I like, genuinely really need it. What is that? Icky. A routine is like I wake up and that first wake window since it's so short it's only like three hours I don't have any coffee I leave my glasses on like that is just like survival and It's short enough where like he doesn't really need to like get out of the house And then when he naps I knock out the entire time And then when he wakes up then we start our day So I have my first caffeine and I feel like since I can only have limited caffeine a day It just like makes more of a difference for me if I have it in the middle of the day like it keeps me going more this is something so silly. I really want to be one of those moms that just lets him like play on the grass and he actually never has. We usually stay on the patio because I just, I don't know, it like skeeves me with like the dogs and stuff. But when he was independent playing at one point this morning, I kind of went through the grass, picked up all the poop and just made sure it was like completely clear. And I still am like nervous about it. I don't know. I think there's bugs. Like I'm not even like a germ freak like that. What do you want from me? It is now Sunday and we had a really fun weekend. I went out to dinner on Friday, and then yesterday we went to the pumpkin patch, and I thought I had a genius idea. I was so between, because we have like a ton of like cute pumpkin farms on Long Island, but I feel like the most famous one is one that's like out east towards the Montauk Hamptons area. And I wanted to go there, so I was like, oh, if we leave after his nap, I feel like that'll be less busy. I feel like everyone tries to go like early, like 9, 10 a.m. So I was like, oh, if we try and go like later, then there won't be bad traffic. And it wasn't bad on the highway, but as we got close, it was so bad. Roman actually did so good, especially because we don't currently do like screen time really or anything like that. So that was, it was okay <laughs> considering. It definitely could have been way worse, but that was fun. Definitely don't think we'll be going back to that one though. We went to Harbs. And like I said, there's just a lot of ones that are like kind of closer that I'm sure will still be busy, but like not like that. Starting last night, I started to get such a sore throat and then Roman has been like having a runny nose, but I'm pretty sure his is just allergies, but he's been super fussy. So I'm really hoping we don't get sick because I cannot be sick because in six days, it's my best friend's wedding. So I got tropical smoothie, it's over there. And I got like a vitamin C like immunity drink and I'm going to, he just went down for his nap. I'm going to crawl into bed, probably edit this video so I could post it and maybe try and take a nap and then Vinny will be up with him just because I really need to not be sick. I was actually supposed to go to Orange Theory today. I was supposed to go four days in a row today being day one and I didn't go one because Roman was so fussy I could tell he didn't feel good and two because I just was like that's probably not a good idea if I don't feel good too and I'm supposed to get my nails done. I just got them done like two-ish weeks ago but nude light pink nails for my friend's wedding and also this one's like peeling so I'd rescheduled that. So originally it was supposed to be a super productive day and now I'm just gonna focus on not getting more <sighs> sick if that's what this is. I'm, ho I'm hopeful it's just allergies. Maybe I'll take a Zyrtec right now too. Most annoying thing is not being able to take like NyQuil or anything that actually helps when you're pregnant, but I can take Zyrtec, so I'm going to do that. And then there is, there's just so much on our to-do list and I just feel like we really don't have time to do anything because the days that we have time to do anything, we either want to like spend family time or we're just like catching up with like regular stuff. Dishes, bottles, mopping, like whatever. Like we do a pretty good job at like keeping the house like in order, like grocery shopping. Like I just feel like, all that stuff obviously takes precedent. And then we've had the same stuff on our to-do list. We still haven't started the nursery. We need to order a few things for Roman's birthday party because that's also in literally less than a month. I was in my favorite runsy before I canceled Orange Theory. I'm probably just gonna stay in this just because we'll probably go on a walk and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.